Good morning or afternoon. This is Jen and Jacob from Gaia Journey. And um, we're just wanting to talk to everyone today about the observations that we've made the past couple of days about the uh, cloud cover, especially in Southern California. Um, well, and up, up in Northern California as well. Yeah, we just are in Southern California. So from our direct experience, um, I was sitting outside last night um, meditating below this haze. It was a very chocolatey looking haze. And what I was shown is that the atmosphere is very, very, very highly charged right now. And and with all the with all of that energy being in the atmosphere, it's very important for us to direct our own consciousness into that energy and to really sit and feel it into our body and see what happens. Um, for me, it was a beautiful opportunity. I just felt exhilaration really going into it. Um, I mean, if you want to speak. Well, Jacob shared with me um, some stuff, and I kind of had my own meditation. Um, we've been observing this for at least nine days, probably ten days now, and um, it is very highly charged. And if you remember in our full moon video, um, the moon was in in Leo, and, and Jupiter is also in Leo, and um, what was coming through us then was this prime energy, and I said lion, like lion, and ion, lion, ion. And ions are just charged particles. And so um, then I was just tuning in. And what's really coming through me is um, that me and Velvet once really went into our mitochondria. And mitochondria are, are like an organella um, in the cell. And um, these mitochondria are powerhouses, OK? So they transport electrons is what they do within the cell. And um, a lot of people think that the mitochondria is a foreign substance in our body, kind of like a bacteria almost. But how I see it is it's literally an ancient primordial primordial light colloid. And what it's doing is it's it's just almost like um, infusing our body with electrons. And um, what is an electron is a good is a good question. An electron is when two equal and opposite waves come together and annihilate each other and in that annihilation what is formed is a residuum vibration and this vibration actually births electrons and so when we talk about ions when he's talking about a charged atmosphere what he's actually talking about is a lot of electron elect, electronic or electron activity um, yeah and so what's coming through me is again this this prime this primal whatever you want to call it, this kind of primal void mitochondria mother um, void energy that's coming through and it's birthing these resident vibration, these annihilation waves, which are then electrons. And, um, and I see what that truly represents is the masculine and feminine polarities coming together and annihilating one another out of their dense forms and combining and reuniting into one into the third medicine, into the sacred elixir, into our true nature. Um, that is what I saw yesterday, is by directing my consciousness into the cloud formation, I was able, I was given the opportunity by the charged atmosphere to really transcend duality within my own body, within my own structure, and come into balance, come into complete harmony, and then direct my consciousness into the clouds and um, allow thoughts to spontaneously arise from me into the atmospheric energies of the earth. And then I see by us doing that on a collective and on a personal scale, we're actually able to influence the thought patterns that are coming around the world right now. We can actually imprint um, thought forms into the atmosphere. And whatever their intention is to make this highly charged atmosphere is, is neither here nor there. We can all guess. But um, a few years ago, a story came out that in Europe they were... Um, what they were doing was on trains with the glass in the windows of trains when you would fall asleep and your head would go against the glass um, they were having a certain frequency of um, vibratory waves that would hit your ear um, your eardrum and it would, you would actually hear advertisements so I'm bringing that up because it came to me we already know that this technology exists and why not put it into the atmosphere for whatever malicious intentions or whatever intention they have but the point is, as Jacob always says, what is this to earth? And all things are neutral, all things are just tools. And so what I see is happening right now is she being earth and the cosmos, because what's happening is Jupiter is, is very close to us right now. And Jupiter is all about expansion. And to 
me, Earth is is bringing in this mitochondria, this this um, this void that is just spewing electrons and it's spewing these waves. And then you have a highly charged atmosphere, and then you have Jupiter with expansion. So if we can just get back to our our primal nature, I guess you can say, our, our who we truly are, then every literally everything is supporting us to do that right now. And we don't have to look at these clouds or this haze negatively, which I was. And is it chemtrails? I don't know. I don't fucking know what it is. But I do know what we see. And what we see is that it's very highly charged. So if we can act as the prime directives of, of inundating this charge with, I don't know, um, the pristine cognition of thought forms. Yes. I mean, we have to understand that the technology they have is very coarse technology. You cannot compete with human technology or psychic technology. It's literally uh, this gross. body is incredible. We can we can transmute anything. It's it's an opportunity. Is what we have to see this as. They can't they can't harm us at all unless we are inefficient in understanding our own bodily technologies. Yes. So. Um, that's what we have to say, and there'll be more on the subject. We would love a dialogue with people about this. Um, so share your thoughts, questions, etc. And um, yeah, we're gonna continue the journey. So and really, just access you know that pristine state right is residing within you, and see if you can direct a thought pattern into the sky, and see how that manifests in your daily reality, and how it manifests in the world around you. We are creators, yes. so create. <laughs> And prime movement, any kind of practice you have, really prime, yeah, I think I'll, we'll probably do another video about this, but yeah. really letting that flow out from us in our nature. Everything we do is a mudra, whether it's brushing our teeth, walking, or doing an actual physical posture. It's all mudra, so we really need to go into our body and, and truly feel us on a very fundamental and profound level. So, enjoy. <laughs>